Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Sharita. Welcome. If you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for supporting my channel. All right, today's video is going to be all about perfumes that I have bought strictly off of YouTube Influence, okay? I have some amazing scents that I mean, if I never saw the video, I probably would not have bought it. Sometimes you'll see these reviews over and over again about these same perfumes, but every now and then you'll get that one video that makes you pull the trigger. <laughs> so that's what this video is all about. These wonderful influencers and their impact on my bank account. So if that sounds like something you'll be interested in hearing more about, then just keep watching. Okay, you guys, I wanna start this video off with a fragrance that just completely got me into the rabbit hole of fragrance obsession. I was for so, well, really all my life, not for so long, for all my life, I was a signature scent type of girl. I mean, I would only reserve fragrances for a special occasion, date nights, things like that. But somehow, some way I stumbled upon AI The Great's channel. Now, wait a minute, before you even tune into her channel, before you subscribe, before you view anything, you need to make sure your mortgage is paid off, make sure the card note is paid up, make sure um, little Johnny and Susie's college is taken care of, because let me tell you, once you start binge watching this lady's content, you will be a frag head, okay? <laughs> She influenced me to buy one of my first niche purchases, and that is Tibet. I know my lights are bright, you can barely see it, but it's Tibet by Tiziana Terenzi. Um, and this just sent me deep into the niche world and I have not looked back. How do you go from having one designer scent <laughs> to niche? I don't know how it happened, but it happened and I'm so glad it did. Fragrances make me happy. Okay, it is almost like you have your little aromatherapy session going on for the length of your fragrance. As soon as you feel some type of way, smell your arm. See what that serotonin does in your brain to lift your spirits. It is amazing, okay? This fragrance is amazing. This is one of my daughter's favorite scents. She is 12 years old and she goes to school smelling like this, okay? <laughs> her principal stopped her asked her what she was wearing. Her teacher stops her, asks her what she's wearing. So, honey, she's already getting compliments uh, in the seventh grade about how she smells. So, <laughs> yeah, thanks eh, <laughs> for influencing uh, not only myself, but my daughter. Okay, so we are going to go right into the next Tiziana Terenzi fragrance. How am I buying Tiziana Terenzi's back to back? <sighs> anyway, y'all pray for me and my savings, okay? But the next one is going to be Orza, okay? This beautiful fruit bomb is just like no other. I think this is the priciest fragrance that I own. Um, I paid almost next to nothing for it. Long story <laughs> about a customer service issue with a vendor, but I paid next to nothing for the highest um, retail value fragrance in my collection. So I cannot complain about that, but who influenced me to buy this? You have never taken a ride on the train to Bougieville. I need you to get your entire life, okay? Fab Finds by Keetra is the boo who told me to buy this. She didn't tell me directly, but she spoke to me through the screen. The way she broke down those notes, she brought out the box with the, the fancy light, and I was just like, I have to have it. Not at the price, I was like, oh, on fragrance? Okay, but you know what she said? You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna save our coins and we're gonna get us Orsa, okay? And I agree. You do not have to confine yourself to buying 10 $100 perfumes. Save your coins, okay? Buy things of high quality that you really want and don't feel bad about it, okay? You deserve it. So, yes, Fat Finds by Keetra. Thank you because this is near and dear to my heart and I absolutely love this fragrance. 
Okay, you guys, so the next influencer actually influenced me to buy two things on this list. Um, it's going to be LaBelle and also Casablanca. Both were blind buys, had never smelled them. I went solely off of her recommendations and I am talking about a painted scent. So if you are a part of the terror squad and if you know, you know, I need you to drop it in the comments below and shout her out, okay? If you are not subscribed to this lady's channel, get your life together. She is what I like to call my little encyclopedia of fragrances. Her collection is, I can only dream, okay, of having a collection like that. But um, almost anything I could think of, like, or specific notes, um, she's got content on it. She has so much amazing content, and you can just come home, pounce down on that couch, honey, get your food, your wine together, and just binge watch. I adore her. I love her to pieces, and this is my love, okay? Now let me tell you, when she holds up a bottle and does this, when she bows the head, honey, that is an add to cart type of scent. I'm telling you right now. So, um, I am absolutely in love with these two. Casablanca, I don't know why I don't wear this out. It is just such a comforting, like, go to bed scent for me. I don't know why. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the opening. It's a good opening, but I live for the dry, down of this fragrance. The caramel is just everything. I mean, it is everything. And I absolutely love these, both of them, to death. So thank you for the recommendation. Okay, this next influencer is not really a fragrance reviewer. She talks about fragrances um, probably a little bit more on her IG, but this woman is like one of my first experiences with YouTube, okay? She taught me very basics of doing makeup. And everyone watching, okay, my women of color, you already know who I'm talking about, Jackie Ina, yes. Jackie Ina made me buy Kaylee Deja Vu White Flower. I got the mini because I was just like, ooh, you know, white flower, I gotta smell it. I don't wanna buy a big bottle with, with that kind of commitment, but this is absolutely full bottle worthy and I will probably be upgrading um, sometime in the near future. You guys, this scent is so freaking gorgeous. Even if you're not the biggest fan of white flowers, you may still enjoy this because it dries down to, I just feel like I'm rolling in a bed of gardenias and honeysuckle. The dry down on this is so sweet and so freaking scrumptious. Like, oh my God. Just freaking amazing. I had to spray it. I'm not even supposed to be spraying the scents, but I had to spray this just to smell it. I'm trying to figure out a scent that my mom will like for Christmas, and this may be it. Because she is a white flowers girl, but it's just something so beautiful and youthful about the way they did this. I am in love. This is a stunning scent. So, Jackie and Ida made me buy it, honey. Let's blame her, okay, for this. Okay, party. we are going to the next influencer, you guys. I adore this one, okay? This is Miss Jeanne Antoinette, and I just find that she is so good at giving you the real, like, idea of what a fragrance is, okay? It's just really, I can't, I can't explain it. But she is just really, really good with being descriptive, um, in her reviews. I just love the details that she, she goes into with her reviews. And so she seemed quite in love <laughs> with a sweet diamond pink pepper, what is it, 25 by Kaylee as well. And oh my goodness, this fragrance is stunning. This is very reminiscent of for some reason, it reminds me of Passion de l'Amour by House of Siage. And so many people think that there is oud in here. And I can see why. It definitely um, smells like it's got oud in here, but Monica Tan said there is no oud. I don't know how, how they combine the woods <laughs> in this fragrance, but it is gorgeous. If you 
have been wanting to get your hands on Passion de L'Amour, but their price point is just not for you, I think you should try this because this is like Passion de L'Amour's uh, little cousin right here at, a, at an affordable price point. Um, beautiful fragrance, beautiful fragrance. And y'all, I'm just, I am a K Ali stan. I don't know what is going on. Everything I have smelled, I am in love with. She's gonna take all my money. Thank you, Mona. Thank you for nothing, honey. Moving on to the next influencer. Actually, two people influenced me to buy this fragrance. I had heard so much talk about Lyra Rajerjov, okay? It's everywhere on YouTube. It's everywhere on Instagram. I mean, I'm like, okay, how good could the damn scent be, people? I was watching Gabby Loves Perfumes. The way she described this had my mouth watering. Lemon cheesecake is how she described the scent. And lemon cheesecake is what it gives. This scent is so, I'm a Addicted. When I tell you I come home after a long day and I spray doused myself down in this, it is so, so, so good, okay? This is gourmand royalty right here. Also, I watched these two reviews back to back. My other girl, okay, that I love so much. If you are not subscribed to Miss Prissy Baby, Miss Priscilla, she is the second person who just made me feel like, okay, I have to get this fragrance. Um, she described it as having a lemon slice, lemon cake, okay? And I'm just like, damn. I watched those back to back and I, I went on and had and bought it and I don't regret it. <laughs> this is one of my, this is one of my favorite gourmands and you know I am, a gourmand girl i love it sweet i love it edible I, I just love it and this is one of my tops i mean right now it's my number one you know and i have so many in my collection i know that's going to change but right now i cannot get enough of lyra um Arjurjov, absolutely stunning fragrance and it's worth the price point for me absolutely worth every dime and as soon as this runs out this baby will be getting repurchased all right you guys this next influencer is um one that has been in the youtube fragrance world for some time um so she has got tons of content on probably every fragrance you could think of but i am talking about miss delicious delights y'all for so long i have been looking at prada candy in Sephora and never even bothered smelling it, okay? I'm not the biggest fan of the way the bottle looks. Um, it just, I was like, it's probably gonna smell like, it's cow candy, like it's probably smell cheap and, and juvenile. And then I heard it was like a big, you know, caramel bomb. I just, I was like, mm, I don't know. I was just never compelled to smell it, not even get my nose on it. As many times as I've walked past this bottle, you know, but she just made me blind by the damn thing. Like a couple of weeks ago, I still had never really gotten my nose on it, but the way she described it, I'm thinking this is gonna be some thick, caramel, clawing scent, and it's not that. It is so watery. Like I can see this actually being someone's signature scent. The girl who loves sweet, who's not too into like a heavy floral fragrance. Um, all the candy. It's a watery caramel and it's almost got like a, I don't know, like a waxiness. I can't explain it. I can't describe it, but this is a beautiful scent and Delicious Delights, girl, you were right, okay? I love this scent and it's exactly as she described it in her video. Now, this next one, Tom Ford Tobacco Bene. Now, if you've watched my content, you know I just struggle trying to find a Tom Ford fragrance that I like. And of all people, one of his biggest stands, honey, Karina Waldron, convinced me to buy this. And I love her content, but we do not have the same nose. She is not my twin nose, okay? I feel like she is a Tom Ford fan. 
And when it comes to Tom Ford fragrances, coupled with the Tom Ford fan, I just, I usually don't trust it. Because some people just love everything he comes out with, I feel like, and I just don't. I don't like a lot of what I've smelled from him. So, some, I don't know how she convinced me that I would like this, but she did, okay? And I decided to get my hands on a decant of this in my Royalty Sense subscription. I said, let me give Tom enough to try, child. You know, let me see how it goes. I read the notes, well, it's no patchouli in it. So we might have success. <laughs> and success is what we had. I am obsessed. This is a beautiful, spicy, sweet vanilla concoction. And really this actually reminds me of like a chai latte. That is what I get from this. This is so comforting. There is nothing like coming home after working 12 and 13 hours, okay? Getting a hot shower, putting that fireplace on, and covering yourself in Tom Ford tobacco beneath, okay? Nothing like it, nothing compares. All right, you guys, and the last one is Probably one, probably the most famous fragrance reviewer that we got on YouTube, okay? And I'm speaking about Miss Demi Rawling, honey. She raved about Delina, okay? Multiple videos. Um, I was just like, what is this dang Delina that everybody is talking about and that she seemed just so particularly crazy about? And I ordered a sample of it and I said, oh, oh, oh. So this is what people are talking about. It was love at first sniff for me. For, for a lot of people, it is not. But for me, it was. I love this scent. This is a for lifer. This is one I will always have in my collection. And it's just one I can't get enough of. I love the rhubarb note, okay? I love the Lena Exclusive, but the original has my heart because of that rhubarb note. So either you're gonna like that note or you're gonna, mm, it's gonna be too much. Um, but this will be on your skin the next day, okay? This has longevity and sillage monster like nothing else. I don't know how they did it, what they put in here. But when I tell you I'm so happy that I decided to listen to Demi and get this in my life, I am so grateful because she is my love. I love her. All right, you guys, so that is the video for today. These people have influenced uh, my life and my bank account, okay? These are scents that are amazing. If you are not subscribed to the channels, please check them out. I will link all of them below. Also be linking the fragrances in the description box as well in case you decide to purchase. They are affiliate links, most of them. So I will get a small commission, but you will not pay any more for that. And it's just another way to support the channel. All right, you guys, please let me know in the comments below what are some of the fragrances that were just sheerly influenced, you know, purchases by YouTube uh, reviewers. Let me know in the comments, I'm interested. And do not forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you are not, all right? And I will catch you on the next one.